Attraction by Kayla, Craig, and Teresa. First of all, what is traction? Uh, traction is an application of longitudinal force to the spine and associated structures. It can be applied continuous or intermittently, and it may be applied manually or mechanically. In this video, we're going to show you how to do it mechanically. Goals of traction are mostly to reduce the signs and symptoms of cervical or lumbar spinal compression and also to utilize maximal traction with minimal force. Indication that traction is needed. Indications. Muscle spasm, certain degenerative disc diseases, herniated or protruding discs, nerve root compression, facet joint pathology, osteoarthritis, capsulitis of vertebral joints, or uh, anterior and posterior longitudinal ligament pathology. Contraindications. Contraindications. That means don't do it. Unstable spine, diseases affecting vertebrae or spinal cord, including cancer or meningitis, vertebral fractures, extruded disc fragmentation, spinal cord compression, conditions in which flexion and or extension are contraindicated, or osteoporosis. Precautions include... Precautions! Uh, the conditions uh, that have not been... Oh, conditions should be evaluated by a physician. Close monitoring of patients should be performed throughout treatment and can cause thrombosis of internal jugular vein if excessive duration or traction weight is used. <laughs> this is Craig. Say hi, hi. Craig. We're going to do some cervical traction on Craig. This is a mechanical device for uh, cervical traction, and Teresa is going to show you how to set it up. Ta da! First, you're going to make sure that you drape your table for every new patient. And then, before I even have him do anything, make sure I'm going to make sure the table's flat for him. And then we will put this. And you jam it in there and then kind of pull on it to make sure that it's out making sure that this is at about 25 um, degrees and then turn your machine on make sure everything's plugged in properly okay and then we're gonna um, put the rope release on which you have to make sure that you hold the button down the whole time and then let go and it'll tighten up because that'll be your pull on the machine. And then we'll have our wonderful patient Craig here lay down. Making sure that his head, you might have to scoot up a little bit, there you go. These are right in between and then tighten these up to where they're tight but not uncomfortable. Let me know when they're too much or if they're okay. That's pretty good. Okay. And then you're going to take this piece and wrap it around their forehead. Most commonly, you're gonna put a washcloth or a, a uh, towel or something, so that way you don't have to clean this every time you use it. But just for this video, we're gonna let it slide. We're gonna give Craig this wonderful escape button because he freaked out if I didn't give it to him. Safety first. So if he has any issues, if he has feels that it is um, uncomfortable or whatever, it'll bring up this wonderful little warning on the screen here that says the patient has pressed the treatment and has been terminated. Okay, so after that, then we'll go to hit our cervical traction button here, and then we're going to edit this, and we're just going to edit the time just for, uh, I forget how to do it now. Go back. And the poundage used for cervical traction is 25. There we go. Just right my time. That's the minimum. Do 10 minutes. And then where did we have to put that at? I don't remember now. The poundage. Oh, here? Um. Max level zero pounds. There's good. I can't. There you go. There. Okay. Edit max and mins. Okay. So 25 is our minimum. 
we'll do 15, and then I think it's five. So you have to put it has 10. to be a. It has, it to, has be to be a, a five, five difference. Yeah. Okay, and then we can go back once that's all started, and then press the wonderful start button. And it'll just run through. On, on cervical, normally you're just gonna pull the head back towards you. So you're always gonna have this directly behind the patient. Um, if you're doing something more for the directed to the right side, you're gonna, you can rotate this so that way it just pulls more on that side than just directly straight back. And also they said that if you're gonna do um, full spinal traction using the cervical traction part that the table would be level instead of at that incline. The traction unit itself would be more level with the table. And that would pull further down the spine rather than just the cervical part. Okay. Things to look for with your patient is to first make sure they're comfortable. That might include putting a bolster underneath their knees. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. Mr. Also, Johnson. you're going to want to uh, drape your patients to protect the modesty of the patient and everyone else around you. Really <laughs> a little uncomfortable. Thing. Also, on this specific table, it does have an up-down button. Do not move your patient while they're in cervical traction unless you feel like you're really hurting them. And no, Craig, you can't play with it. That's probably about it for the don'ts and okay. the do's. Okay, and then after the treatment is completed, the machine will stop. This will all release. Um, then you can go ahead and let out your patient's head. Unstrap them. Make sure that um, if your patient is like claustrophobic or anything or has any sort of anxiety that you explain to them what's going on so they don't freak out in the middle of a, you can sit up now, in the middle of the treatment. And I then, feel like head painting. <laughs> and then <laughs> once you get the patient up off the bed and everything, then you can hit the rope release, remembering to hold it down, holding it down the whole time until you put it back there, and then just taking that back out undoing your bed and turning your machine on. How are you feeling, Craig? I feel wonderful. Awesome. Let's move on We're to We're going lumbar. to lumbar traction, yeah. We're going to be doing a little bit of lumbar traction. And this is one of the take-home units you can use. The other type of unit is for that machine that we just were on for my neck, which feels wonderful, by the way. But for sake of time, we're not going to hook Trace up to that. So we're going to hook her up to this and let her go. So Tracy, if you want to go ahead and lay down. All right, one, do, one thing you want to make sure, you find their ASIS. They're actually going to need Teresa to move forward up on the table a little bit more. That's great. We take, can you hold that there for me? Okay. Go. And you don't want to make it too loose where they're going to slide out of it. So you actually want to make it quite tight for the patient. So it's important to instruct them to use the bathroom before they do this. Hopefully you didn't use the bathroom. I'm good. <laughs> That's good, because you're not going anywhere for a while. Same thing with the one that goes over the hips. We don't want to make it too loose, so we're actually going to make it quite tight. So, I'm going to pull over. She's crazy. I'm little, but I don't think I'm that little. Make it tight. And now, you leave her here and watch her suffer. Kidding. There's a little dial over here that we give the patient. After we get it set up, if you, Kayla wants to come closer, I'll kind of show you more about this. Here on the bottom you see release, pump, and hold. What we're going to do, we're going to change this over to pump. 
see there's a little dial that you can read that says how many pounds we're going to do. So basically we're going to pump this up. It's going to be about 25% of the body weight. For time's sake, I'm only going to go to about 40 pounds. I know it's not going to be that for Teresa, but for time's sake, this is what we're going to do. So all you do is just kind of pump it up, and you'll start watching this. It'll start moving down the table. I just kind of watch until it's up to about 40 pounds. You should start feeling a pull in her lower back. Don't laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. I think I need to make it tighter. <laughs> I think the bottom one's falling okay, off. Well, how about you stop the video what for you a second? saw last time, we had a mistake. I had to readjust, which sometimes with physical therapy, you're going to have to adjust what you do. So I have this readjusted where it's going to work now. So, if you want to come on up, I'll show you how this is going to work. I'm going to turn the <coughs> dial to pump, and we're just going to repeat the same actions. And you should start seeing that lower part start pulling on her back. Teresa, are you feeling a pull? Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, you see we're about 40 pounds right there. So what I'm going to do is go to hold. And what's going to happen is just going to hold that. If I need to adjust it later, I can. So I can give her, set this down here. I can give her a bell that she's doing this at a clinic. And I can go do my thing. So. All right, Teresa, you're all done. Now what we're going to do... We're going to take the same pump that we did this. We're going to switch it over to release. What it's going to do is it's going to start moving this back slowly, start relieving that tension. We don't want to do it fast because if we do it fast, you risk hurting the patient, then you get sued, then you lose your job, then you're living in a box on the street. That's not good. So we're going to switch this over to release. You can hear the air coming out. <laughs> we wait until this is done. I got it. This would be a good time to talk to your patient what they expect afterwards, after the treatment, so they can keep going. Sometimes it needs a little help. Is it relieving that? Mm -hmm. Is it relieving? Yes. Hang <laughs> right. on. So, what I can do, I can start unhooking her. So, I unhook the belts, straps. The gate belt is stuck in the machine. No, it's not. If I can remember how a gate belt works. Usually the gate belt isn't a part of the system, but in the clinic you have to improvise sometimes. We got a broken machine. And now, Ugh. you can get up slowly. I feel like a whole new woman. <laughs> and that's manual. That's mechanical traction, not manual. Thank you